you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is shy and for today's video it is all about new year's resolutions goals and how i plan to achieve them i have been dying to do a video like this i didn't get the chance to do one in 2021 so for 2022 i really wanted to like have a sit down video and talk to you guys about my goals how i plan on achieving them how i plan on slaying them and actually doing them i think that the goals that i have for this year are more realistic i feel like as we go into the new year i know most of us not gonna say everyone but a lot of them have the goal of like doing a whole bunch of crazy things and creating this huge list and then the list never gets done i can honestly say that was me last year i had a whole bunch of things in mind that i wanted to do and i probably did like one honestly <laughs> so this year i decided to really sit down and think about what i want to do so i created this video to talk about my goals with you guys how i plan on achieving them and hopefully motivate you guys to create your own little list and do that as well so let's get into the video i'm a very big visual person i love planners i love planning markers stickers i love all of that so for this year i decided to change up my planner a little bit it's a little bit differently so i want to show you some of the things that i got that i feel like are really going to motivate me this year and i'm excited so the first thing i got is this calendar and i have to say this calendar is just gorgeous so i have a couple of reasons i'm going to do this calendar thing one it's going to be for working out and it's just simple it's chic and i feel like it will look so nice like on the walls i feel like it will keep me in track and give me motivation to kind of track my workouts and everything if i did a double workout i could put like two little gold stars i have gold stickers so i'm just going to be putting like a gold star for each workout day and then those days that i don't work out i'm going to add a happy face because you know what even though you don't work out it doesn't mean that your whole workout is thrown out the window but like i said i'll get more into that later in the video this planner right here is the new planner that i got i was very excited for this planner because it's definitely different from the one that i had before this one is more of like a daily to-do planner the reason why i chose this one is because i've come to realize that i don't really take a lot of time for myself i feel like this planner will give me time to just spend five minutes of my morning and also force me out of bed in the morning to actually do a to-do list and plan out my day and really just get out of my head stop using my phone a little bit and i'm really excited to use this i just i think it's so cute the paper is adorable it's very sturdy you don't have to fill it out every day you fill it out as much as you want or when you have stuff to do i usually don't fill out my planner on saturdays and sundays it's more of like a monday to friday so i think this is perfect for that i also love using colorful pens and highlighters i think that these jelly roll pens are like the best this is so 90s but these little pens right here are the best and these highlighters are just this cute pastel color which i think will look so cute for when i'm planning or even need to write on my calendar and the last thing that i got was this ideas notebook so it's just a regular notebook it's a little bullet journal notebook i've never had a bullet journal before so i'm kind of excited to see how i use it i've seen a lot of tiktoks where people put stickers they decorate decorate the page and everything and like i said since i'm trying to find more me time this year genuine me time like no social media no nothing just take 30 minutes out of my day to just be with myself i feel like i haven't sat down and actually wrote in a journal in so long so i'm really hoping that i can put this to good use and at least fill it up halfway or something just to keep myself motivated the last thing i got was this frame it's empty right now it's basically going to be where i'm going to be putting my vision board I got it in michael's and i think it's gorgeous so for goals my goals this year i decided to limit it to six main goals now i do have other little mini goals that i know i could achieve by like let's say pantry makeover or cleaning up my garage or something like that i know those are things that i could definitely do when i have free time but i chose these six main goals because i've been saying for a long time that i I've wanted to do this and I haven't really sat down and done it. It, it. It's procrastination, truly. Procrastination at its finest. So I've decided to do these six main goals and I'm very, I'm not even gonna say I'm hopeful. I know that I will be achieving them. And I'll come back to this video and hopefully I can say that I did. I'm excited to start this new year off with a bang. And I feel like 2021, at least for me, was a year for growth and acceptance and healing. And this year is about striving and getting what I want. So let's get 
get into it. So the first goal that I have is reading 10 books for the year. So just 10 books, just 10. I already have like six books that I've purchased that I've been dying to read and I have not made any time for myself. And I think that is totally a reachable goal. I know people that finish books within a week. The problem with me is that I'm very honest with myself. I procrastinate a lot, meaning I do a bunch of things in my one to-do list. I forget about the main thing that I was gonna do. I was talking with my friends, Catherine and Shanice, and they were like, Shy, I know you like to do YouTube. I know you like to do all these things. And I know you're a very go, go, go person. But when is the last time you actually sat down with like your favorite drink and just read a book, watched your favorite TV show without checking your phone and just literally being in the moment? I paused there and I had to think about it for a while. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't really sat down and relaxed in a while maybe. And I realized that even when I am watching my TV, I'm also responding to comments and doing a bunch of things. So I'm hoping that by reading 10 books this year, I can find my me time, journal, just do what I need to do to just be better, you know? So the next goal that I have is running a 5K. Now, I know that in 2021, I did do a 5K. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. I was so proud of myself. It was the most like rewarding experience it was amazing i want to do better i know that i can do the 5k under the 47 minutes that i did it and i know for some that's horrible timing and everything but i don't really care about the time the point is is that i did it and i got to the finish line and this time around i actually want to prepare train and really like do better like i'm trying to do this under 30 minutes type of thing but i did put run a 5k under 40 minutes because i did it in 47 minutes so i'm trying to give myself grace I'm not trying to be, you know, crazy, but I'm doing running a 5k under 40 minutes. I think it's doable. I, I think that it's possible and I'm ready for that. The next goal that I have is reaching 5k on YouTube. Now I know that is a pretty huge goal. I only have like, I believe 1,200 followers to be honest, but I've seen other YouTubers do it. I'm going to try by using more SEO, like searchable, relatable topics. I really wish I could say that I could do two videos a week or even three, but truthfully I can't. And I know that sucks to say you can't in a resolution video, but I am being realistic with myself So my goal is when I can push out two videos, I a hundred percent will but the most importantly is doing more of course vlogs I'm still keeping the vlogs but also SEO search relatable videos I'm not really adding Instagram into this because truthfully not too good on the Instagram I would hope to get to 3k at least but we'll see how it goes the point is I am gonna try and reach 5k on YouTube though I know that is a must and I'm hoping and I'm praying that that happens I'm also gonna be switching up my banner changing up my look changing up my intro and outro I'm working on that right now kind of sprucing things up for 2022 and and hoping for the best let's see for those of you that are trying to reach your YouTube goals we got this the next goal that I have which is kind of personal and I've never really talked about this on my channel is actually finishing school so right now I am really close to finishing my associate's degree and I haven't even done that and I don't have a bachelor's obviously and I want to at least finish my associate's degree this year I have been talking about it for a while and I'm trying to really get the ball rolling with that I've already reached out talked with the advisor i'm choosing my classes and i just have been saving a ton of money to be able to go because i have to pay out of pocket for them hopefully i can at least finish with my associates and then get into a bachelor's degree but if i could at least finish and get my associates that would make me so so happy i I was very iffy about saying this in the video because I know I'm 29 and I know a lot of people here already have their degrees and everything and I think that's amazing and beautiful and so motivating. A lot of personal things happen where I couldn't finish. I really want to finish this year. <laughs> I want to at least finish with my associates at least and I'm hoping I can make that happen so pray for me. I got this. I want to reach my fitness goals. I'm going to say that. I'm going to be starting a weight loss journey on my channel. I'm going to be doing basically monthly episodes. So I've already started today. Basically every month from the beginning of the month to the end of the month, I am going to be sharing my monthly journey with you guys. Every month I'm going to be showing you my great days, my not so great days, some of my favorite meals, breakfast smoothies, regular smoothies, whatever. <laughs> and in hopes that, you know, I can inspire you 
guys. I have put on some weight and I have been trying to reach my fitness goals for a while. It's definitely been up and down. And I decided that tracking this and becoming consistent with you guys would help not only me, but inspire others as well. We can work on this together. I'm not gonna be doing anything, anything like keto or vegan or anything. I'm really more into just high protein foods, low carb foods, foods that bring you joy and working out in the process. I pretty much suck at working out. So I feel like it would be fun to record my process and go and we can laugh together. This goal is basically just gonna be feeling fabulous. I already have learned a lot in 2021, learned how to love my body so much. I believe that I, I do want to get healthier and I do want to feel good. So basically this resolution is just feeling even more fabulous, <laughs> but also basically losing weight. I guess if I could have a goal weight just for like those who are curious, it's between 150 to 160. I'm also 5'6", so I guess that would be my dream goal weight. But the point of this year is to just put on a dress and feel fabulous. Feel like I am the baddest bitch. And honestly, I already do feel like that because like, like I said, growth. But we can make it better. And the last goal, which is also extremely embarrassing, but I'm going to talk about it. You guys know that I am a New Yorker. I have never drove a car ever until I had to come to Florida. And I'm going to be honest with you, I do not have my license. As Cardi B says, I am a professional passenger. I don't have my license. I get extreme anxiety when I even get into a car as a passenger and I get very nervous. I don't know what it is. I just don't like driving. I don't like being in the car. For this time around, the goal is learning how to drive and getting my license. Yep. You heard it here, friends. I am getting my license. And I know what some of you are saying, girl, you are 29, what are you doing? I, I, I said what I said, I'm nervous, okay? So the point is, is that I'm gonna get it done. I plan on getting lessons with my dad and Daniel, and I'm hoping that everything goes well. I do have my permit though, for those of you that are gonna be coming for me, I have it. Do I use it? No, but I have it. So my last goal is learning how to drive. Those are my six main goals. Doing a 5K run under 40 minutes, 5K on YouTube for 2022, finish my associate's degree at the least if we can get the bachelor's, that's what's up. Learn to drive, which is probably my least favorite one. Reaching the fabulous weight that I wanna reach, whatever that may be, whatever my heart desires, and reading 10 books. Also, if you have any recommendations or you wanna share your goals yourself in the comments below, please let me know. If you also have any tips for me, would love to hear it because I'm, I'm ready for anything, I'm excited. Anyways, let's get into the vision board. So I chose this little frame because like I said, I'm a very visual person. I wanna be able to hang it up and see it right in front of my face every time I walk into this office, which is from Monday to Friday. And I am so ready to just create it. Now, I decided to do things a little bit different. So for this vision board, I decided to use images that motivate me, get me excited. I also decided to list my goals just as a reminder and keeping me focused. I really like the way everything came out. I honestly was genuinely surprised with how it came out. I just have to print it out and post it up now. Hopefully by the end of this video, I have it put up and everything so you guys can see how it looks, but this is how it looks right now on Canva. I'm just using all these images from Canva. You just put your dimensions and add the pictures and text. You can find anything on there. I have the Canva Pro. It's a little bit different from other ones. I know usually people just have like text everywhere or like pictures everywhere. So I really like how it came out. I hope you guys like it as well. I'm also hoping that with the items that I purchased, like the planner, the notebook, that they also help me stay on track and stay motivated. Last Lastly, just a couple tips because I know that during this time there's tons of like pressure to do certain resolutions or do certain things. You do whatever your heart desires. You know, you're not on this earth to please everyone. You're here to please you and find your own balance and, and do whatever works for you. Even if your goals may seem different from others or seem small or seem weird, like learning how to drive and going back to school, that's a different goal for me. <laughs> but do whatever your heart desires. I hope that you found this video helpful or motivating or anything at all. I just have been dying to share my 2022 resolutions with you guys and goals and hopefully I shared some good tips on how to achieve them. So happy new year. Cheers to 2022 and I will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.